Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio here on the 30th of June for a last little glue-in for the Art Joya Sharing um, ATC, ATC A Day 2020 card. And see, because I could not remember to get it straight, I had to put it on there on the post-it note because I'm a goober. Um, so... I'm going to show you how I put this in, and this is my flip. I will do a flip. So let me just start with the um, putting in of the last card. Well, no, actually, let me do the flip first so you understand why I put the card in the way I did. Okay, so there's the little thingy there. I guess I don't need that anymore, and I will put something on the front later. All right, so this is an accordion book. As you can look at the spine, it's not exactly perfect, but for me it works. And it was scraps. And that was the whole point of me doing all of this. This was all scrap stuff. Scrap cardboard from cereal boxes. Um, scrap paper from other projects. This is cardstock. These are my old business cards. And I use them to sell uh, beads and different things. And I would staple them onto the bag. So on the put the beads on the front and then staple it on there so that they could see the business card and the product. There was the description of what the beads were, how many were in the bag, and how much it cost. So business is no longer in existence. Some of the beads have been given away, sold, whatever. But I'm left with all the business cards, and I have hundreds of them from two different businesses. So um, I decided not to do ATC size, but to do these. They're just a little bit off from ATC. Not by much, but just enough. So there's day number 30, in case y'all weren't paying attention or y'all didn't um, join Art Joy Sharing Facebook group. So here's my little book, and here's my flip. I drew this... Let me go in closer here so you get a better look. Now, I may go out of frame. Don't holler. Um, I drew this and didn't really like it. And so I used it on the inside of the book cover. So that wasn't part of the 30-day thing. So each one of these was covered in scraps from my scrap drawer of painty papers and miscellaneous papers. And then I drew the flowers that were inspired from Pinterest, florals, uh, hashtag florals your way, hashtag plant dot doodles, hashtag plant dot doodles, and hashtag Alice loves drawing. So I used them for my inspiration. And some of them I like better than others. This was it was a, this wasn't really a plant per se, but I had it in my doodle section on Pinterest for plant um, plant doodles, I think, because the one that I looked at looked a little different. But this is my adapt adapt adaptation. Jeez, Louise, I really do need that second cup of coffee. Okay, there's the next one. This was already doodled. I covered a book, and this was a leftover piece of paper, so it looks like I doodled on here twice, but really I only did once. And then um, after I got doodling, I tore the paper around what I doodled. That was a little tricky, and then I just glued this on here, so it looks like it was two things that were doodled, but it's not. Some of her are a little too busy backgrounds. I didn't make a good choice like this one. This was part of a stamp I carved, and then I stamped it on paper, and I made uh, flippin' photo blocks from Julie Fenfay Bowser's um, page and her YouTube channel. And then I put this like in the middle so it would kind of set it off, but it got lost in all the red somehow. This one was not dark enough to um, stick out more from the background. Although I do love it, but I think I should have made it either larger or darker. Because it's, it's really hard to see. Even I'm looking at the camera to see what you guys are looking at. And it's hard to see it. It's supposed to be lavender. Lavender. 
This one came from Pinterest. This was a, a doodle flower that came from Pinterest. This came from, I think this came from hashtag Alice Loves Drawing. Or maybe it was hashtag plant.doodles. Either way, I'm giving them credit because the majority of the stuff comes from them. And I put this one on upside down, so let's do this upside down like this. And I can't rip it out now. It's too late. So in it goes, because these are fu this is a fuchsia, and they hang upside down, you know, like this. This came from um, Pinterest. These two definitely came from Alice. I just love these two. These are two of my favorites. And this one. This is supposed to be foxglove, but... I did not understand the inside, so they look kind of funny, but I got that they're like bells, but the insides I kind of mucked up on, and next time I draw it, I think it'll be different. And then I drew this and put color on it, and when I intended not to put too much color on the flowers themselves, I thought, oh, what the hey, let me just, I don't want to waste something, so I just glued this in the back like I did the one in the front. All right, so here's how I attach them all. When you do an accordion, it's, you know, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. So I decided that I did 15 up and downs, so I have 30 cards, and this is how I attach them all. Now the first, the first one is only two strips of the um, score tape at the very bottom right here on the other side so it sticks at the bottom there's nothing else on the card but the second day I didn't want to do that because whoops the second time because all the thing would do is they would be loosely together so I had ordered this honking behemoth thing of um, sticky tape a while ago and what I, I take my leftover pieces and I put it further back on the roll and I save them for a day when I need smaller pieces. You probably could put this on something else, but this it unsticks perfectly from this and doesn't mess up the sticky back. All right, so what I did was, for my cards, this will show you how I got my leftovers. I took my ATC on the sticky back, and I just kind of laid it as best I could on here. It's not perfect, but it doesn't matter. It's going to stick. Then I took scissors, and I use these because the sticky comes off of these. Now you're going to see how I get my leftovers. Okay, cut down here. And then, since this, whoops, this is left, oh, there's a cat hair there I swear that boy sheds year round there we go I'm gonna put that on there and I can see them because I mean they look kind of funny on camera now unless there's a part that's not sticky that sticks up but I can see them so I know where the leftovers are because if you need something bigger than this this big roll is the way to go all right so I took this and I'm going to show you my fabulous burnishing tool <laughs> works like a charm I make sure it's burnished really well so it sticks to the back of the card. Why buy a fancy tool when you have glue? And peel it off and it's all nice and sticky. And let me look at this one this time to make sure I don't get the stinker upside down. Here, there we go. And then because there's, you know, a little folding part in here right there where the fold is. I don't want to put it slam up against that. I want to leave a little space and I try to butt it up next to this card. I want to leave just a wee bit of space and some of them are not quite even with others but it's okay. So there's day number 30 which I posted today. There's my little book and yes it has a bit kind of a problem. <laughs> it just can't keep its mouth shut. <laughs> I mean, I, if I had thought about it, I could have made it like this, but that would take up way too much room on my bookshelf. So there's going to be some kind of a band on this so it stays shut and it doesn't have alligator mouth on the bookshelf. 
Um, and then I'm going to do some kind of a doodle, or what I'm going to do is I think I'll put AJOS 2020 on this so I know that I finished the year 2020. As much as I like notebooks um, and putting my cards away in a notebook, I... I like these because it features everything in there. They're easy to get a hold of. No, they're not on acid free. And no, they're not going to last into the next century. But really and seriously, it doesn't matter to me because I'll be long gone by then and no one will care. <laughs> okay, I hope everybody had a great time doing the AJOS hashtag AJOS. No, that's wrong. <laughs> For the Facebook page of Art Journal. Art Joy is sharing, good Lord. Um, and then it was a hashtag, ATCAD, which stood for um, the ATC card, which is a two and a half by three and a half inch card. AD is a day, and then the year 2020. Let me put this back on here because evidently I can't remember diddly. All right, so that's my little flip through for the Art Joy is sharing ATC. A day 2020. Thanks for joining everybody and maybe next year you should consider doing it. Next month they're going to do fluid medium. So let me see all your fluid mediums. Bye guys. See you later.